even if you go to an alignment shop, especially a high volume alignment shop like a Pepe's or a Firestone or a Goodyear or a tires place, I'm just curious how often to do the technicians uh, maintenance the turn plates because it doesn't take much to jack them up. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So inside of here is a spring loaded thing that holds the ball bearings in. And you can see mine, I just took it apart and then I'm lubricating it because it hasn't been maintenance in a while. But even when I was a, I was doing alignments on a line machine, the guy before me, the guy went after me would be slamming vehicles on it, not lifting the vehicle up and getting the turn plates off, uh, throwing it in gear, and then what happens is it slams the plates and knocks the ball bearings or breaks things. So here we pretty much are gentle with these. Um, but uh, I know the last time that they were used, um, I know they were they were rough with it, and that was my guys. And uh, these are from Harbor Freight, and they've been around for a while. Let me tell you, I say I've had these alignment plates for at least 18 years. So uh, yeah, so take it apart, make sure the ball bearings aren't broke, and then we're going to slide it back together, and then we're going to check the functionality of it, which should be perfect see that see how the how easy it moves that's you know you want to check your turn place before you do an alignment even good good alignment shops debris gets inside of there and, and just causes issues and believe it or not this makes up you can have the best alignment machine and mediocre or crappy turn plates and just ruin an alignment but uh i'm gonna get this back together i'm gonna check my other one and then uh, i'm gonna set the tow on this explorer and get it going Thanks for watching.